Hey guys, Happy New Year. It is currently January 1st that I'm making this video and you would have seen that I redid an intro to this video just because I am out of it. I am tired. It is Sunday, January 1st, so Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful New Year's, and all that great stuff. I am getting ready to do a reading vlog on The Shock of Night um, by Patrick W. Carr. I am making this my first read of the year. This is my first read of the year, along with a reread I'm going to be doing. Let me grab it quickly. So, this is my other read for the beginning of the year. This is actually a reread for me, Amari and the Night Brothers. I originally read the ARC copy, and I'm now going to read the uh, finished copy of it. Um, I five-starred this when I first read it, so I need to read this so that I can read the sequel, which is right here. Year. I want to read this at least by like the second or third um, of January, so I'm going to be rereading this. But we're going to be tackling this. And if you guys hear that noise, sorry, my son is um, about to do his homework. So yeah. But this is a Christian fantasy that y'all have heard me talk about for a long time. And as much as I love fantasy, I don't read as much Christian fantasy, and I want to get into the Christian fantasy genre. And so when I heard that Patrick Bucar was actually a fantasy writer before he wrote biblical fiction, I said, let me give him a try. Because I did enjoy his biblical fiction, which was The End of the Magi. I gave it a four-star rating, only because I did not like how he wrote the ending of that story. I mean, it was nothing bad. It was just how he rushed through it, kind of copping out by using scripture to finish the story, which I don't really care for in biblical fiction which will be another discussion video to be had. But um, yeah, this is a dark water saga. I want to read it, see what it's about. And um, if I do like it, I'm going to continue on. And I have a few Christian fantasy books on my shelf, some that are ebooks that I want to dive into because I know a lot of you guys are like asking me for recommendations that are fantasy. I can give you like secular fantasy novels, but I cannot give that many Christian fantasy. And the main Christian fantasy that I love is from Lindsay A. Franklin, uh, The Weaver Trilogy, as well as Morgan L. Bussey, The Ravenwood Saga. Those are like the main two that I've read, and I love both of those five stars. And my favorite is obviously The Ravenwood Saga from um, Morgan L. Bussey. But yeah, we're going to dive into this. So, The Shock of Night, here is that cover. Reading the back of it, it says, The dark water claims all who enter it, all but one. When one man is brutally murdered and the priest he works for mortally wounded, will it door be to the king of Bernard is called to investigate. As he begins to question the dying priest, the man pulls Willet close and screams in a foreign tongue. Then he dies without a word. Willet returns to his task, but the clues to the crime lead to contradictions and questions without answers, and his senses are skewed. People he touches appear to have a subtle shift, as though he can define their deepest thoughts. In a world divided between haves and haves not, gifted and common, Willet soon learns he has been passed the rarest gift of all, a gift that's not supposed to exist. Now Willet must pursue the murderer still on the loose in Bernard, even as he's pulled into a dangerous conflict that threatens not only his city, but his entire world, and a conflict that will force him to come to terms with his inability to remember how he escaped the dark water forest and what happened to him inside it. And so yeah, this was published by Bethany House. This came out back in 2015, so it's pretty old. Um, and so yeah, about seven years old, I think. And I'm excited just to check this out. Hopefully I enjoyed enough to want to go and get the rest of the books. Um, and so yeah, I do have the audiobook through Hoopla. I'm not sure if Libby would have it, but I have it through Hoopla, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to jump into this book and finally get it done. So it is, it's a little late. It's um, 5 something right now, like after 5.30. Um, and I actually just posted up a video with the printable that I did. And so with the printable that I just shared about, which is a confidence study one day uh, reading plan printable, it was actually a personal study that I did for myself because confidence is my word of the year, which you will see that video coming soon. I don't know if it's before this reading vlog or after, but my word of the year is confidence and um. I wanted something to help me get back into the mindset of just a reset for the new year with studying and reading the word. And so have I done it yet? No, it's late. Like I said, it's five something and today has just been one of those days, right? So I posted that up on the website and posted it here on YouTube in a little short video and things like that. So I'm going to get some reading done. I already have this separated. This has been separated for a couple of times, like a couple, couple months now. Um, so it's going to be four days. I could bust this out in three days. I may bust it out in two days. We'll see. Honestly, how I'm feeling. You guys know um, how my reading was last year. I read 75 books last year. Not the 100 that I wanted, but 75 books. 
last year and so this year i'm gonna keep it to 100 books hopefully i can go over 100 but i'm starting it off well by doing two books technically it's supposed to be three these two plus a non-fiction but i'll do the non-fiction tomorrow um so yeah we're gonna start with this and i'm going to try my best to get to chapter 15 today chapter 15 if i could get to chapter 15 i'll be proud of myself this does come with a prologue and so i'm gonna read the prologue in chapter one on camera which is a total of 22 pages and then i'll read the rest off camera of course if you are not uh new to my reading vlogs you know how it is but if you are new to my reading vlogs click the i to go to my reading vlog playlist but typically i will obviously introduce the book i'm reading give you guys a synopsis i'll read the first two or three chapters on camera give you guys my initial thoughts go off camera finish the book and come back with like my thoughts of that section that i read and i typically like to read books within three to four days and maybe five depending on the amount of pages within that book however this year i'm going to push myself to try to finish a book in two days um because last year just was horrendous it was horrendous and tragic and so yeah i typically if i'm reading about i'm typically reading about three to four books at a time so i'm reading about 100 pages per book so that's about 400 500 pages depending on what book i'm reading and things like that so yeah what i'm going to do though is make me a coffee I've had this coffee now for a minute. A little water down, so it's time to go make a new one. Um, and I'm gonna actually have a iced coffee, which is an espresso lemon, lemon, an espresso lemina over ice or lemina over ice. But I did pick up the Coffee Mate coconut cream, a uh, creamer. So we're gonna see how that tastes with it. Put a little bit of French vanilla syrup in there with that creamer. Hopefully, it tastes bomb. If it don't, then I wasted my money. Well, not my money technically but i wasted money um but yeah i'm gonna go make that show you guys in like a little quick montage of me making that coffee i'm gonna make two one for me one for my mom i'm gonna do the one in the vituro my mom is gonna have a regular nespresso original line so that's what's gonna go happen and if you guys hear sounds like i said that's either gonna be upstairs my landlord or my son like i said he's doing hard wanna say hi no he said he don't want to say hi okay but he is doing his homework so yeah um right now my computer is updating so that's why you guys can like kind of see it but um yeah it's a new year it's a new year it's a new year i am tired service was bomb diggity it was lit it was lit um i will leave in the cards the service from watch night it was so good um we ain't get home till about three o'clock in the morning <laughs> tired but yeah i'm gonna go make my coffee come back so we can get this reading vlog started.
Okay, guys, so I read the prologue in chapter one. You saw me read it on camera, and that is 22 pages in. And honestly, I am loving the writing and also the audiobook. It definitely has that sort of olden kingdom style like sound to it. Um, I am enjoying the main character, Dora. I think that's how you say his name. Um, Will it Dora? He seems like a interesting character. Some he kind of reminds me of like a character Brandon Sanderson would write. Um, someone who is very much strong and uh, they like to stick to their morals but they also have their own ideas of what is right and very um, inquisitive and things like that. I'm really enjoying it thus far. Um, the prologue was quite interesting. You get a little bit of a setup with um, these two characters named Robin and Elwyn and then in chapter one they end up dead and we're introduced to Dora trying to figure out why but it's interesting as to why they're dead because they're supposed to be these like churchmen servants um yeah so far it's really good I'm enjoying the world building I'm enjoying the characters the conversations that are being had the the lot of um sort of like not plot twists but the the um foreshadowing I guess is happening um, with some questions that are like coming about um, so yeah so far so good I'm going to continue reading chapter 2 up to chapter 15 and come back to you guys I might continue reading honestly up to the halfway we'll see because that would be all the way to chapter 30 so I might read chapter up to chapter 15 now and then switch over to my secular middle grade novel, which this is actually a middle grade fantasy, I didn't tell you guys, and I've read this before, so it's going to be easy to apply through this. Um, I'll just be reading the finished copy, and then once I get like maybe halfway through this, go back into this book to get to chapter 30, because I'm actually enjoying it thus far, and it's only two chapters, 22 pages in. So yeah, I'm enjoying this. It's really, really good. So I'm going to continue reading until dinner is almost done, and um, come back to you guys with my thoughts on chapter 15, and we'll decide after that that if I continue reading um but yeah I'm gonna go my computer is almost done doing whatever it's doing it's like my computer's being weird right now um and my son is finishing up his math say hi hi <laughs> so yeah he's finishing up his math um homework and yeah I'm gonna go so I'm gonna do this reading vlog um and I'm excited I'm excited that I finally sat down to read this book because so far it seems like it's gonna be good I'm Hoping it's a five star read. I really like hope this is a five star read because I, I enjoy Patrick W. Carr's writing. Like, I know it'd be like at least a four, but I'm hoping it's a five star because I would love to have more Christian fantasy novels to have in my, like, I guess vault, if you will, to share with you all. So, you guys get to see firsthand my thoughts and opinions on this Christian fantasy from Patrick W. Carr, which was published by Bethany House. And so, yeah, we got this. I'm gonna go get some more readings done and let you guys know my thoughts. And I'll be back with those thoughts shortly for you. Hey guys, so it's four, four forty six a.m. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, so I ended up taking. I ended up taking medicine yesterday night, um, about seven-ish, and got really, really tired, and so I went to bed about 8.45 last night. Um, I woke up this morning at 1 a.m., just out the blue, I woke up at 1 a.m., um, but luckily I did because I had to do something for my pastor and my bishop. Um, so I was able to do that. So that must have been God, like, in order to wake up, I gotta do something. <laughs> My pastor even texted me, it was like, God, no. So, um, I did that and I kind of went to sleep, kind of stayed up. And so it's about to be five o'clock. Um, so I'm just gonna stay up. I only got to chapter 10. Well, I read to chapter nine last night. And so I have to read chapter 10 to 15. But, um, what I did read was really, really good. And so, I'm going to actually get up and go make me some coffee. Um, and get some stuff done. Because I didn't honestly get to read my Bible yesterday like I wanted to. I had every plan of doing that at like 11, 10 o'clock. I was out like a light. 
going. Um, I got hit really bad with nausea. And I have the medication that the neurologist had prescribed me, but I haven't honestly been taking them correctly. And so I do meet with my doctor this month. At the end of the month, it's just a virtual meeting. Um, and we're just going to talk. But, you know, I'm just going to take the medications like I'm supposed to, right? <laughs> I've had the medications since October. I still have the same medications from October. So that means I haven't ordered any refills because I haven't been using them properly. So I took it last night. Um, I took one nausea medication pill and it knocked me out. So, yeah, all my pills make me tired. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to get up and get my morning started. Um, I have my books here. And so I'm going to read. I'm going to read to chapter 15, come back with my thoughts, like, of those first 15 chapters. And then go off camera to read to chapter 30 and come back with more thoughts um if I can I do want to read it finish it up today I did not start Amari um and the Night Brothers and I also picked the nonfiction that I wanted to read for this month I picked this one only because it had the audiobook um so yeah I'm gonna be reading Woman of All by Sarah Jakes it's a smaller one to start with um so Yeah, I'm getting my day started. So I'll be back. Ooh. Oh. I'm gonna go and get myself together. I'll come back on camera most likely when it's light outside. So, um, yeah, I'll be back. It is the 2nd of January, January 2nd. Um, and so I think the most I'll be doing today is probably a mall run, possibly. We'll see, but I'm gonna go. Good morning, guys. So it is 7:44 in the morning. Um, as you can see, the light is on. My son is up. I'm up. He's actually watching Garfield, but I paused it. And um, I'm getting ready to jump back into reading. Let me get my coffee out the way. Um, this is the pumpkin. I think it's pumpkin spice cake from Nespresso Vitoro line. Uh, yeah, I'm drinking. But this morning I did my devotional time. So I picked my nonfiction and I'm going to be reading Woman Evolved by Sarah Jakes Roberts. And I'm going with this because it was the thinnest, one of the thinnest ones. It was either this or Collide, Colliding with Destiny, which is also by Sarah Jakes. That one is on Ruth. I started it before. I just didn't feel like picking it back up, so I'm going with this one, which this one is on Eve, and it's actually quite interesting thus far, um, the take on Eve, which for me, I was a little convicted myself, so that's a good sign, enjoying this, um, I'm gonna take it a chapter a day, um, it's 11 chapters, so technically I could read two chapters today, but I'm going to take this a chapter a day alongside doing my devotional in the morning, so I should finish this and obviously... 11 days um so yeah chapter one was pretty small minute nothing crazy just a setup of what the book is about about why she's writing on eve and things like that <laughs> sorry guys my son is playing on um his phone for now but yeah i did you know write some things out i'm i'm using the sharpie s note highlighters in this i don't like them so I'm probably going to switch over to using my um, Crayola Super Tips in here because I don't like the bleed through in this book at all. But that's what I did. Um, and I'll be using this notebook to answer questions and stuff in um, because this does come with questions. Y'all know I love a good interactive book. Um, next thing I did was my reading plan. Um, if you guys don't know, I had a 31 day reading plan well it's still going by the time you guys see this this might be the first video you see for the year so yeah it's january 2nd this video will be posted january 14th which is the first day of me getting back to youtube which i'm tempted to actually get on youtube now but i told myself it's gonna take a break so i'll take that break but um yeah the confident reading plan is 31 day reading plan um it's completely free and obviously i tackled day two today um, it's a seven page freebie printable where you can get it. You'll see it all over Instagram and I did post a short on um, YouTube and so 
yeah I tackled that did I break it oh no I didn't it's just the paper is let me um take the paper out there we go yeah took out that paper it was annoying me but um did that and so the bible i'm using to do my morning devotions as well as like when i'm reading non-fiction books is this bible here this is the nlt um filament thin line reference yeah thin line reference bible um i'm not a big fan of the nlt translation personally but um i have it and i wanted something really small that i could use and not feel like i'm doing like a deep dive bible study on and so i went with this one because all the study notes are not in here it's actually on the app which i like and so yeah it's just a two column type of thing and i'm going to be utilizing this for that so um let me show you guys some of what i've done so this was from yesterday I read it yesterday, but not, like, completely the way I wanted to. And then from today, to Psalm 18, and this is from today. And basically, I'm sticking to three highlighters in this Bible. I'm sticking to marking anything in purple that has to do with God, anything in pink that uh, kind of sticks out for me personally, and then anything in green that I feel like is important, but it has nothing to do with God or, like, a personal revelation, but it still sticks out keeping it real basic and bare minimum in here so you know we use that for the devotional and i took out this journal that i had i forgot i even had it um when i was organizing and putting my bible studies and stuff into that pink cabinet i realized i had some journals that were still like good they still had paper so the last journal entry i did in here was on um december 8th 2020 and that's when I was doing the advent calendar from Bible Project. I think I was doing it on the YouVersion app. And so, yeah. And here I was doing, like, a lot of... This is when I was, like, devotional heavy. When I was doing, like, the Our Daily Bread plus the In Touch plus whatever devotional book. I was doing, like, three devotionals in a day, which... Now that I think about it, it was a little bit insane. Now I know. I know better. I know better now. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I still wanted to use it because I had a lot of pages left and this is actually from discover the word which is part of the our daily bread ministries um i think they sell these um in different designs but yeah it is a journal i had and this is honestly the only journal i had out because i don't feel like going into that cabinet right now so yeah but i'm going to read chapters 10 to 15 and come back with my thoughts and then I'll also read up to chapter 30 today. So what I'm going to do is read the 15, come back on camera, give you guys my thoughts. And then what I'll do is I'll come back after chapter 15. I'll come back when I'm at like chapter 28 and read 28 to 29 on camera and give you guys my thoughts. And that'll be at the halfway mark at that point. Um, so yeah, that is that. Ooh, luckily, I know which I've done more chapter 10. But yeah, let me get back to reading and finishing up my breakfast and my coffee. And um, I'll come back to you guys in a few moments. Alright guys, so I read up to chapter 15 and honestly I'm thoroughly engrossed in the story. However, I find that I'm enjoying it more as I'm listening to it only because you can kind of hear like the accents from the voice actor which I'm really impressed by thus far. Um, it is a 38 so it took me about an hour and some change really it's because i'm sitting here playing in my planner that i'm taking so long so i was already done at like eight but then i reread chapters 13 and 14 again and then was still not paying attention so i had to reread it again so um yeah i am enjoying it so far it's a four stars um we're trying to figure out who murdered a couple of people the murderer is the same person and why they are linked to um what's going on and things like that so murder mystery um the magic system if I could even call it a magic system, it's quite interesting with the giftings and abilities. Um, Willet Dora is hilarious. He honestly reminds me of a lot of like the fantasy male characters that I enjoy and love reading about that are comical and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go and finish planning in my planner and come back maybe later on to read some more. Um, but like I said, I'll come back on camera when I get to chapter 28 um, and read chapter 28 and 29 on camera for you guys with the montage. But thus far, I'm enjoying the first uh, fourth that I read and I cannot wait to read the second fourth of this book. <laughs>
Hey guys, it's January 3rd, um, I think this is day 3 of the reading vlog, um, I am not feeling well, I feel like I am coming down with like a cold or something like that, and I know how I got sick, so, yeah, I know how I got sick, it's not COVID or anything like that, it's legit a cold, I know how I got it. <laughs> which was dumb on my part, but here we are. I've literally just been laying in bed all day. So yeah, I read up to chapter 30, as you saw, and I am at the halfway mark. I might continue reading tonight up until chapter 44, because um, it's really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. It might not be a five-star. It might be a solid four right now. I am loving it. I will be honest, I don't really understand the connection as far as like you know christianity goes i'm not understanding it i'm not seeing it um maybe as the story progresses like you could tell that there's like this evil within dark water forest there's something going on um we get bits and pieces of like the different i guess gods i don't really understand the connection faith-wise okay and I'm saying that because as a Christian fantasy, labeling it as a Christian fantasy and it being published by Destiny House, which is a Christian publisher, I would expect the, I guess, Christian aspects, faith aspects to be in my face, right? Not in my face, but like noticeable. And it's not to say that I read many Christian fantasies because I really only have read two. The other ones I have read are like fantasy mixed in with sci-fi or fantasy slash horror. And so, like, straight-up fantasy books, I've read two of um, the Ravenwood Saga trilogy from Morgan L. Bussey, as well as the Weaver trilogy by Lindsay A. Franklin. And both of those series, trilogies, they're very, like, distinct in using the faith aspects in Christianity and God and Christ being within their fantasy world. So I'm not really understanding that aspect, which is why I'm probably not going to give it a five, because it's... It has gone past my brain, honestly. Um, but thus far, I'm enjoying Dora. I'm enjoying his romance with Gail. We love it. It's so cute. I love me some Gail. She is bomb diggity. Um, I love Bolt. I cannot stand Pelin. I feel like there's something wrong with the vigil. Like the vigil, there's something going on. I love the relationship between Willet, Dora and the king um absolutely phenomenal like father sonish relationship going on we love it i am enjoying it i'm finding that i'm immersed in it i did not expect to it at all so this has thrown me off a little bit but um yeah 
yesterday, I, as I said, I wanted to get to top 30 yesterday, but I just did not do that because I ended up hanging out with both my mentees. Um, we went out to Applebee's to eat, and that's where I got sick. <laughs> that's the get up, please. Um, on top of it being cold yesterday and rainy, and I did not get my coat up. So, yeah. Um, and then after that, we had went to Barnes & Noble's. And I had picked up four books They're actually sitting over there, but I'm not going to show them right now um, because I really just want to collapse. Like, my neck hurt, my back hurt, everything hurt, my head is hurting. It's not a migraine, but it's like a headache that comes with having a head cold. I don't think I have a fever. I haven't checked at all, but I know that I've been sleeping most of the day. Like I slept until 2 o'clock. My son was almost late to school today, which is tragic because his school is literally across the street from the house. Um, so he was almost like he was pinning his way <laughs> to school today because I did not have the energy to get up. Um, I was supposed to do laundry this morning, did not do that. I just, I don't feel my best. So, yeah, I've just been in bed chilling all day. Um, I want to finish reading this book, but I have not even done my devotionals for the day, my Bible reading, my Bible study. Like, I've done nothing with that. It's currently. 746 p.m. I have done nothing. So I think I want to read more. Like, I want to read more, but I don't want to read more. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This reading vlog is going a little longer than I expected. But at least I'm reading, right? At least she's reading. Um, I'm just very really glad that I decided to take two weeks off of YouTube. The plan was actually to spend this week and next week making content for you guys. Clearly, that's not going to happen because I don't feel well. And so I'm just going to be recording this reading vlog for the rest of this week. And if I'm feeling better by Friday, because it's only Tuesday, and I'm going to finish this book tomorrow. It's about two days left of reading, but I'm going to finish it tomorrow. Um, so by Friday, if I'm better, I will record three videos this weekend. Um, just to have things ready. And then next week, I know I'm going to be, like, on a crazy filming schedule so that I can least have stuff to already done so that I can edit and have stuff ready. But, yeah, I need to say, I am I'm tired and I don't feel good. My son has finished all of his homework, thankfully. So, yeah. I'm probably going to wrap my hair back up. Make me another thing to sleep. Um, I've been drinking ginger ale. I have water as well. The next clip when I come back, I'll show you guys the book. I also got my book of the month order done today, so I have three books coming from that. I'll discuss what book of the month is because I've been a part of book of the month for a while now. But I'm gonna go rest. And hopefully get some more reading done. If not, I'll finish it tomorrow. But we'll try to read up to chapter 43 today. Yeah, but like I said, that's why I'm really, really enjoying it. It's fun. It's action-packed. The audiobook is so much fun listening to. Um, but I am, like, zoning out. Not because it's bad. Just because I'm not feeling well. So I'm, like, zoning out and finding myself having to read over two or three chapters. Because I totally forget what's being said. <laughs> So, yeah, but thus far, I think I'm definitely going to go and grab the uh, rest of the ebooks for this and catch up on that. But I'm going to go and I'll see you guys for the next part.
Hey guys, it's currently 1.20 a.m. January 4th, and so this is the final day of the reading vlog. You would have seen that I read um, chapter 42 up to chapter 43, and so I am now at the final fourth of the book, um, which I am excited for. I think that this is going to be a solid four stars, bleh, a solid four star read for me. Um, due to a few things uh one i am more so enjoying the audiobook than i am enjoying the actual physical read which for me if i find myself enjoying the audio over the physical i do dock a point now for most people they don't but because i am more of a, of a physical reader and not that big on audiobooks it means a lot if i'm listening more so to the audio than i am with the physical because if i really like a book the audiobook has no like influence if if you will it's hard to explain i'll probably explain it tomorrow when i well later on today when i get my full review i still feel like a hot mess so bear with me um i'm gonna be going to bed soon because my son does have school in the morning but um i just felt the need to like continue reading because it's really good but yeah i'm docking it um from five to four because of the audiobook situation um audiobook is fantastic by the way um Second thing is, I'm not understanding the faith aspects in this book at all. I don't, I don't get it. If someone could explain it, <laughs> please. Um, I don't see the faith aspects. You get mentions of the religion within the book, but I'm not getting it. And see, the thing that I like about my secular fantasies is that that if there is a religion in the book. They go into depth about the religion and the beliefs and the different gods and goddesses and stuff like that. And for me, I don't care if it's secular or if it's Christian. I need it to really have that faith aspect. And especially if you are a Christian fantasy, I need to see those um, inklings or those connections to God or Christ. Sorry if you hear some more. My son is not on the bed. But I'm, I'm not getting any of that. And it's kind of throw me for a loop because i'm really enjoying it but it's like mm, where is the point of you know god or jesus in this and we're getting bits and pieces of like the evil mentioned in this book which i'm pretty sure because it's a trilogy it's going to um probably make more sense in the books to come but i mean if you're mentioning this great evil right what's where's where's the like <laughs> the good to this where is the god of this book right where is christ in this book and i i don't I'm not saying it. Hopefully, it's making sense, but I'm not saying it. But, um, yeah, I am loving this. I'm probably going to finish this um, right after I do my devotional in the morning. Um, or probably when I drop my son off. Because the plan is to get up at 5. I don't know if that's going to happen because I'm not feeling good. <laughs> so, if it doesn't work out, then after I bring my son from school, I'll do my devotional and stuff like that. And then get this book finished. But, um, yeah, so far, so good. I think... Uh, four days into the year finishing two books in the middle of one book and i'm going to be starting um this book right here which is amari and the great game which is book two to amari and the light brothers finally getting to read that um i think i'm doing pretty good pretty good good four books four days uh, well three books in four days technically i could have finished the woman evolved but I'm, I'm gonna take my time and take that a chapter a day and it's a pretty quick read and i'm loving the audiobook of that as well because you do get to hear sarah jake's um voice and with that book i'm also thinking it's going to be a four star because i'm enjoying the audiobook more so than the physical um but i'm loving her take on eve so we'll see it might be a five who knows but um i think so far having a five star read a possible four and a half five star read and then this possibly being a solid four star read great start to the year great start to the year so um the plan is to crash i have a bad habit of not sleeping until about two three four o'clock in the morning so and i just said two three four o'clock in the morning i said it so fast y'all paid me no mind but um i'm probably gonna read a few comic books i have several books on my um tablet i also i use the moon reader plus app and then i also use comic plus or comic screen or whatever this app is called what is it called yeah comic screen as well i have comics on my book on my e-reader and so i think i'm gonna read cucumber quest i have volume one and volume two um uh, and they're just such cute little bunny rabbits i don't know anything about it i just saw them and they were super cute and i said let me go ahead 
Um, I think some of my favorite comics. Oh, I forgot I had that as well. Oh, and that. Oh, Victor Lavelle has a book out. Okay, let me give you that. Uh, my favorite ones were these little cute dragon novels. I can't even think of what they're called right now. And I don't have it on here. But, um. I could read Spy Family. Hmm. Possibly do Spy Family. Whatever. I'm going to go try to find something to read until I get tired and go to sleep. So, I'm going to finish this book today. Uh, I'm going to holler at y'all in the morning. <laughs> guys so as you could see i finished a book i actually finished a book maybe like 45 minutes ago but i helped my son with homework um i am in so much pain right now since 
my time of that month came on top of me not feeling good so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know i'm finished i will come back later on when i'm not in as much pain <laughs> to give my final thoughts because i'm finna take a pill and just relax my body but i will say it's a solid four stars um maybe a four and a half we'll see how i'm feeling once i put this in a call power system but um yeah this was actually really really good really really good again i don't i didn't get much of the faith aspects to it but i have the other two books on um ebook and i also have the prequel novella um so i'll be reading those for sure over the next two months um because i really enjoyed willie dora the vigil the secrets the gifts the forest i need to know i need to know more right and especially with what happened to the king at the end and the queen i'm just like what and the whole situation with gail what he about to do i'm just not for it so i'm gonna go and come back to you guys in a few hours once i'm a little bit more coherent because i'm in so much whew, so much pain right now so yeah i'll come back to you guys in a few hours all right guys so i'm back quickly to finish up this uh review i'm not in a lot of pain right now um i did make me a strawberry lemonade but um yeah so shock of night going with a four star read for this um i really enjoyed the world the magic the characters my only gripe honestly was the fact that the faith aspects were not really there for me i didn't understand um you got to see like the great evil but you didn't get to see the opposite side of like god or christ reflected in this book and i'm not sure if that portion is going to be seen in the next couple of books i do do own the ebook for the prequel as well as books two and three so i will be reading those because i really enjoyed this world and everything about it um will it zora we love i love lydair or Dear, which is the king um i was sad about what happened with between him and the queen um the ending of this kind of confused me especially with the situation with gail as well as the queen will it got some explanations to do um helen i think that's his name i am still skeptical of him totally um i hope laywin is like everything with laywin is, is like true because most of the time in fantasy books that i read typically when someone says that they're dead they're not dead most of the time and so um yeah i enjoyed this so much i love me some bolt bolt is amazing bolt is awesome like him and willet chef's kiss um the secret revealed about the vigil threw me for a loop i was not expecting that but overall i really really enjoyed this i didn't think let me say that i, I knew that i wanted this to be at least be a four stars but i didn't think that i would enjoy it as much as i did um also another thing is i'm giving it a four because i preferred the audiobook more so over the physical and you guys know i'm a physical reader i'm not really an audiobook person so if i enjoy an audio an audiobook more than i do physically reading that says uh that i'm not really I don't know it, it says a lot for me because i'm not an audiobook person i just prefer to physically read a book or an ebook but um yeah four star read solid i will be reading the um prequel novella really soon um it'll probably be one of my next books after the next two books so you guys know i'm still in woman evolved right now i'm on chapter four um well i did chapter three so i'll be on chapter four and the next two books i'll be diving into um are the chronicles chronicles of brother um which is basically about lucifer and the archangels so this one is the fall of lucifer book one mixed reviews all over the place so i'm gonna read it hopefully i can give it a four stars we'll see and then of course i'm gonna be diving into amari and the great game which is a sequel to amari and the night brothers and so yeah i am excited i'm excited i'm excited my reading has been going pretty well i did also get a chance to read a graphic novel um i think it's called cucumber quest or something like that i'll put it up here cute little comic graphic novel so cute um but yeah i'm gonna keep reading that i think it's like four volumes of that and so i'm going to continue on with that um but i think this year i'm going to focus on not just reading novels but also doing um no i don't really care for novellas unless it's a part of a series that i'm reading if it's like a novella by itself i don't care for them um but i'm gonna try to do a lot more graphic novels and comics and mangas this year um 
though I prefer like out of the 100 150 books that I want to read this year I want them to more so be novels and actual books I'm just gonna take advantage of the fact that graphic novels and comics count um because I do own quite a few I have some of my e my um e-reader so we might as well use them um so yeah I do want to do a few challenges as well on the channel as far as like um reading experiments and stuff that I've seen I see it hap I see it happen in the book world like the booktube world and I want to kind of incorporate that on the channel especially the 24 hour challenge there are two versions of it the first version is where you read for 24 hours um literally like from 12 a.m to 11 59 p.m straight like you're up reading and then there's another challenge in which for 24 hours you see how many books you can read and so you're using a timer consistently pausing it when you're not reading and then play um starting it up when you're reading up until 24 hours so i want to do those i want to do like um seven books in seven days uh this book this video will end once i hit a five star like there's so many challenge ideas that i've seen that i want to try to incorporate but we'll see um but yeah i'm gonna go rest my head and get some sleep and i will see you guys in the next video i won't be recording any more videos until next week obviously because i'm not feeling good on top of my cycle starting and so yeah the pain is starting to happen again so i'm gonna go and i will catch you guys in the next reading vlog if you made it to the end um put up this emoji just because it's called the shock of night and i think that this emoji works because it's a shocked look so put that emoji so i know you got to the end and i will see you guys in the next video bye